invites you because not only do they have a way to make it be like anesthetized, all right, and then, of course, they release the heparin and the blood flows freely. It used to be that people used the leeches for bloodletting, okay, because they would think they had too much blood and that would cure them of whatever was wrong. They would have leeches placed all over them. Found out that wasn't necessarily a good medical practice, okay. What we find now, leeches are a way to help improve blood flow. Like, for example, if a person lost a finger, okay, and they were able to reattach it, they can actually, like, put a leech at the end of it where it's sucking blood and it's making blood flow increase and bring in healing to the finger. Yeah. I've seen a doctor do that before with somebody at home. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. And it hurt, hurts when they take the leech off, but hey, you kept your finger, and most likely it's going to work. Are there any downsides to it? Like, do they carry disease that they could? Not that I know of. Okay, I think they can. Like um, yeah, because they they're very when they bite and everything. I don't think there's anything. Oh, I know. I went and I went to see some, and some were like from Africa and stuff like that, and. I was like, oh, because the girl had it out, you know, like this, and I'm going, oh, and she was like, you can't hold that. And I was like, what? Why? <laughs> you know? No, you know. So, was she know. holding it out on her bare hand? Uh, sort of, yeah. Uh, she she had picked it up. Um, how did how was she holding it? Did she have? I can't remember if she had something under her, under her hand, under it, on she her hand. She had to have, or else it would have lashed yeah. into her. And I was just like thinking, oh, I'm going to get to pick that up. Mm -hmm. So, but that actually finishes up chapter 18. Now, what, what you're going to do for the rest of the class period, all right, um, Let's run real quick over the rest of the study guide. <coughs> See if I missed anything. Okay. I think we left off at the point of How to do blood the blood type. type. Okay. And um, it's just a real simple test. But they do, they can type it. We talked about an antigen, antibody, agglutination, the major blood type groups. We did the RH, the HDN, um, leukocytes. I talked about the difference in their structure. Uh, list and explain the types and whether they are a granulo or an agranulo. The life history. Um, now, Remember I showed that in the textbook, there are lists of disorders, okay? So double check those. Um, hemostasis, I've got to know that's cessation of bleeding. The platelet structure, what do they do? How they get produced? Um, the mechanisms, there were three, okay, that are gonna occur each time. The pathways of coagulation. Now, so far um, as this, I want you to understand that you have the extrinsic, the intrinsic, and the goal, get to factor 10, which is known as the common pathway. Uh, the fate of a blood clot, it's got to dissolve. Um, there's a whole huge process that goes with that. Uh, well, we can't keep them, you know, but that, that's a good way to put it. Um, how does the body stop inappropriate? We have stuff like the heparin, the prostacycline, okay? Um, types of clotting disorders. The biggest one is hemophilia, okay? But the book will um, talk a little bit about that too, so check those out. So I think that was all of Chapter 18's um, study guide. Okay, now. For about to do, how many how many of y'all have your lab manual? 
Okay, so 